Hello everyone, this is uh, Abhijit Barai. In this uh, video we are going to show you how to increase the resolution of the images, especially when they are printed out on uh, papers. Uh, it's very useful for uh, the journal articles. Uh, if you submit uh, some images or figures to the journal, most of the time it is rejected because of the quality of the images that you have. If you use these steps that I'm going to show you over the next few minutes, hopefully your images will not be rejected. Most of the journals um, ask for a minimum resolution of uh, uh, 300 uh, by 300 DPI. DPI means the dot per inch. Let me show you one of the images I have. So this is the uh, a simple picture of my uh, garden uh, at the back of my house. Mm. So what um, it means is that along the x-axis there are some dots of different color and along the y-axis there are different dots of colors. How many dots are there will show you how uh, the resolution is. So more pixels or dots better is the resolution. When you print out this piece of paper, uh, when you print out this uh, picture in a piece of paper, that is called DPI or dot per inch along the x-axis in this direction and along the y-axis in this direction. If you look at this picture in the computer screen like I am showing you now, this is called pixel per inch or pixel per centimeter whatever. So pixel is the small dots as you can see so these are the small dots now if i if i improve the number of pixels obviously the resolution of this picture will get better at the same time the size of the picture means uh, in uh, terms of uh, milli millibyte or uh, megabyte or whatever uh, that will get uh, bigger as well so to reduce the size of the image many people reduce the resolution but in that case the quality is compromised let me show you um, this uh, pictures uh, properties so if we go to the properties then you will see that the size of this file is 121 kilobyte it's a very small file but it comes in uh, because the resolution is pretty low 96 dpi so every inch along the x-axis there are 96 dots if you print it out Similarly, along the y-axis, there are 96 dots. This resolution is not very good. If you send this type of picture for the, to the journals, it will be rejected because if you print this out in journal articles, it does not show, look very well. So what we'll do is, in this video, I'm going to show you how to improve the resolution and uh, that will improve the size of the picture as well. So let's... Uh, uh, we'll do it together now the the file uh, the the software that i'm going to use is called uh, gimp uh, g i m p if you don't have already you can download it uh, from the web so if you go to the website called g i m p dot org forward slash downloads it will take you to this uh, uh, page you can download in different ways you can download it um, with uh, directly or you can download it uh, with a BitTorrent. I am using Windows, so I am using this, but if you use Mac, uh, Macintosh, uh, uh, then it is a little bit uh, different. And uh, if you use uh, Linux, then that will be different as well. And um, so I will show you only the Windows uh, version. If you follow these steps, um, in Macintosh computer or Linux computer, it will be similar. Now, it is very clever. The uh, website will actually identify what type of operating system you are using, and it will take you straight to that uh, particular uh, format. So if you click on the download to GIMP, the latest version is 2.10.18, I believe. Um, and then you can uh, download it. Uh, if you want to donate something, that's up to you. Um, I don't have money, so I am not going to donate anything. You can donate it either directly or through Bitcoin. Um, it is entirely up to you. I don't have any uh, relationship with uh, these particular software developers. Um, so 
what I'll do next is once this is downloaded and installed we'll come back and then we'll show you how to improve the resolution of your picture right so I have installed the software now let's uh, go to that uh, uh, figure again then if you go to open with and go to GIMP or GIMP whatever then it will take a few seconds to open the file let's uh, go through this here we go so that's the picture now what you can do is you can go to image then go to print size now this is the thing so this is the uh, actual size right at this moment now if you increase the resolution so for example 96 pixel per inch which is very small right you can also call it uh, dot per inch is the same thing when you look at the picture in the screen it is pixel per inch when you print it out on a piece of paper it is dot per inch I'll increase it to say 1024 see what happens so if I press the enter as you can see couple of things happened number one when you increase the resolution along the x-axis the resolution along the y-axis automatically changed because they are linked to each other second thing is the actual size of the file actual size of the picture that is reduced then what I'll do is I will press on the OK button and uh, that is pretty much done now you cannot use this file straight away what you need to do is you need to export it in your preferred format so I'll go to file and then I am going to export as and then I am going to save it as a garden 2 so this original file was garden 1 the second file is garden 2 then export click on the export and then it will show you different options for example what will be the quality do you want is 100% I am happy with 90% that's fine then I'm going to press on the export button and it takes us a few seconds now you can't see much change in this picture but if you go to the original file I'll show you what has happened so this is the first file which is garden one let's look at the properties look at the size of this file which is 121 kilobyte but if you look at the other file the second garden two uh, let's uh, have a look at the properties now it will show 180 kilobytes so 60 kilobyte increased then look at the details so here the resolution along the x-axis is 1024 dpi or pixel per inch or dot per inch if it is printed out along the vertical uh, uh, vertical axis it is 1024 as well what it means is that if you print out this file in a piece of paper it will look better if you look at the screen it will look better as well so that is how it is uh, done and it is a very simple uh, tool to do that um, if you print out this uh, figure and this figure they will look completely different so this is how it is done um, if you have got any questions you can uh, write in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can you can use the same technique for your journal publication you can use same technique if you want to print out um, in uh, glossy papers you can uh, use the same technique to um, to impress your friends or colleagues by printing out high resolution pictures now if you want to change the whole picture scenario that is completely different I'll just show you a little uh, tricks here so for example right at this moment what I can do is I can go to the tools um, hang on um, I can go to colors and then go to the uh, color balance for example and I will uh, probably increase it uh, cyan a little bit and um, magenta maybe reduce a little bit and yellow increase a little bit you will see that the, the picture is actually changing have you seen that it is changed then go to the color again and then I am going to uh, change the hue sat saturation again I am increasing the hue a little bit and um, 
uh, saturation I am increasing a little bit as well and I'm going to color again now this is uh, this is the interesting part so if you go to uh, if you reduce it here and increase it a little bit then you need to go to different colors and uh, for example for red I will change it a little bit and here I'm going to change it now then I'll go for green I'll change it here as well now look at the grass um, in the garden that that actually looks a lot better now obviously you can play with it you can make it look at that it's very green right but if you want to increase that green of the um, garden you can increase uh, like that and then you can uh, change the uh, blue that uh, the sky that will look uh, better um, so I think I will just change it this way now it looks completely different than what we have done before so what I'll do is I'll go to file and don't press on save as because that will be uh, saved in a format that you can use only with uh, GIMP you cannot use with other tools so go to export as and now this time I will save it as garden 3 so I'm going to garden 3 and press on export and um, again I'll keep it as 90 percent and then export let's see what happened this time this time this is the picture which looks completely different right um, look at the previous picture um, if you go to previous picture look at the this is this is the original picture and this is the change picture can you see that so it looks uh, much better actually it most looks more realistic and uh, more attractive especially the uh, green in the garden that has become a lot better the reflection of the blue sky on these windows that looks a lot better the bricks look more reddish than what it was before let's uh, double check again so look at now it looks like a dull picture by changing those uh, parameters you can make it a lot better now what happened to the uh, properties of this picture let's have a look so if we uh, press on the right click on it and go to the properties then look at the size so initially it was 121 so the size is doubled now look at the uh, dimensions it is still the same but the actual size of the file has increased so this is how you can change the resolution of, of your pictures and um, you can see the difference so this is the original picture and this is the after changing the resolution so if you print out this picture in a glossy paper it will lo look a lot different and a lot better I hope you find this useful if you still have your any questions please uh, drop me a line I am happy to answer to your questions thank you very much bye for now